Good morning students. Welcome to chemistry video class. This is the last topic in surface chemistry. So in this video we will discuss about applications of colloids as well as colloids around us. These two topics we will discuss. First application industrial products. See industrial products like paints, lubricants, resins, inks, rubber, plastic and cement. These all are colloidal in nature colloidal in nature so these all products are colloidal in nature paints lubricants resins already we discussed paints so paints are which type of colloidal solutions so you please follow colloids classification of colloids based on physical physical state of dispersed phase and dispersion medium these, there we wrote these different examples so these all products are colloidal in nature next rubber industry uh, how rubber is a colloid latex so rubber is obtained from rubber latex okay rubber tree it is an emulsion of negatively charged particles in water it is an emulsion of negatively charged particles in water natural rubber is obtained by coagulation of these particles natural rubber is obtained by coagulation of these particles already in the last video we discussed emulsion what is emulsion dispersed phase as well as dispersion medium both are liquids they are called emulsions here rubber is obtained from rubber latex okay which is from rubber tree an emulsion of negatively charged particles in water natural rubber is obtained by coagulation of these particles so like that uh, rubber is also colloidal next cleaning action of soaps and detergents uh, already this we discussed uh, in uh, formation of micelles okay, you once you follow that one next uh, food materials like butter milk halwa ice cream fruit juices these all are comes under colloidal solutions only comes under colloidal solutions they are not true solutions why because they are not clear next blood is a colloidal solution of albuminoid substances blood this is also very very important blood is a colloidal solution of albuminoid substances the styptic action of alum and ferric chloride solution is due to coagulation of blood forming a clot which stops further bleeding so due to the presence of these albuminoids only clotting of blood is takes place okay blood is a colloidal solution next fog mist and rain these are also colloids around us so how fog mist and rain are produced very simple when a large mass of air containing dust particles so dust particles are nothing but uh, air is a dispersion medium dust particles dust particles are dispersed phase okay na? they are called salts when a large mass of air containing dust particles is cooled below its dew point dew point means the atmospheric temperature which water droplets are condenses is called dew point what is the dew point the atmospheric temperature below which drop water droplets condense is called dew point when a large mass of air containing dust particles is cooled below its dew points the moisture in the air the moisture in the air condenses on the surface the moisture in the air condenses on the surface of these particles forming fine droplets this moisture and this dust uh, dust particles forms a fine particles so these droplets being colloidal in nature these droplets being colloidal in nature clear so colloidal in nature continue to float in air in the form of mist or fog so these are float in a air in the form of mist or fog clear so like that fog or mist is formed so clouds are aerosols having small droplets of water suspended in air air contains water droplets that is called cloud an account of condensation an account of condensation in the upper atmosphere in the upper atmosphere the colloidal droplets of water grow bigger and bigger in size till they come down in the form of rain till they come in the form of rain like this like that uh, rain is formed okay in the atmosphere so these are the collides around us sorry applications of collides next collides around us so first blue color of the sky due to tyndall effect 
blue color of the sky as well as uh, appearance of uh, sea water in blue color that is due to tyndall effect tyndall effect next uh, fertile soil fertile soil is also collide around us so fertile soil is colloidal in nature in which humus top layer of uh, uh, soil is called humus which is, which is act as a protective colloid on account of colloidal nature soil adsorb so moisture and nourishing materials like that uh, fertile soil is act as a colloid fertile soil is act as a colloid next formation of delta formation of delta this is very very important for objective examination what is the delta students where river water and sea water are meets we will get generally deltas why delta formation is takes place because of river water is a colloidal solution of clay river water is a which type of colloidal solution it is a colloidal solution of clay sea water contains a number of electrolytes so it contains electrolytes it contains clay when river water meets the sea water the electrolytes present in a sea water the electrolytes present in a sea water coagulate the colloidal solution of clay coagulate the colloidal solution of clay okay in its uh, deposition of clay with the formation of delta so very simple coagulation means what coagulation means conversion of colloid into precipitate is called coagulation generally coagulation is takes place by adding electrolyte here river water is a colloidal solution for that colloidal solution we are adding sea water sea water contains what sea water contains many number of electrolytes many number of electrolyte means sea water contains sodium chloride now sodium chloride is nothing but strong electrolyte so that's why when sea water meets river water coagulation is takes place due to formation of this due to formation of this coagulation colloidal solution of clay resulting in its deposition deposition of clay with the formation of delta so like that uh, deltas are formed in the universe uh, earth earth okay where the river water meets the sea water deltas are formed okay in the next class uh, we will discuss uh, so objective related uh, topic that is uh, problems related to gold number as well as electrostatic precipitator we will discuss thank you